And so I'm a bit disappointed actually not to mention that the game will have an item shop which most likely will have an Im impact on the gameplay. So the one player who spends most will also have the best chances I get, I guess. I don't know it, maybe I'm maybe it's wrong what I say in that amount because uh, the item shop is not yet implemented in the beta so I don't know which impact it will have but I don't see why I should pay money for that game in the end. There are so many good browser games out there which don't require you to pay anything. I guess it was the game is just a test by electronics art to see how you can quickly develop a small browser game and see how much people pay or something. I mean if you're looking for a peaceful fantasy browser game you can still check out if you can get into the beta but um Yeah, f to play it every now and then it's not bad, but I'm not sure if I will ever spend any money on that. So, let's see... Finally we have a place to put all our um, food in. I had to also increase our cooking skill. I'll just put all, um, put all these storybooks in the saddlebags of the horse until I find an auction house. Slowly we are having more space. Data ballistics. Do we have anything double of these kits? Doesn't seem like it. Um, Monster Hunter's token. I guess we can get rid of these.
I guess I should also get rid of these dice sooner or later, they take up lots of space and I don't need them and if I would need them they'd be cheap to create anyway. Sell it to you. You shouldn't sell me stuff, you should buy stuff. Okay. You made the right decision. Bye. Anyway, after I'm using a password, blood sample kit. Now we finally got some space again in our backpack. 